Okay, so in part two, we textured our flag, and uh, we've built and we've animated it. So if I hit Control A, you can see we have a flag that falls down, but it doesn't collide with the flagpole, and we don't have any wind at this point. If you haven't followed the tutorials, uh, part one and part two are listed in the show notes on the YouTube channel. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead into... Um, uh, we'll select the the cylinder and I'm gonna hit period on the number key so I can zoom in on that and you can kinda see and I'm just gonna select collision okay and so now the flag will no longer fall through the cylinder okay and if I were to render that out you would see that were the case uh, the next step is I'm gonna take the cursor okay and I'm gonna place it behind the flagpole approximately and I'm gonna choose add all right, and we're going to go to force field, and we're going to add wind, okay? And you can see right now, if I look at this, and I'll zoom in on this by hitting the period key, the arrow is the direction the wind is moving in. So I'm going to scroll down again here, and I'm going to grab my rotator selector for this one, and I'm just going to point it right at the flag like this, okay? Now let's take a look over here on the right. You can see the strength of the wind is 1, and that's not a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a real high strength. I'm going to go with a number like 400. You can play with that. Okay. And that's going to give our wind a lot more strength. Okay. So uh, now we've got a wind source on the flag. So instead of the flag just falling down, uh, it's going to, it, it will fall down, but then the wind will push it back out again. So I'm going to pause the video here for a second, and then we'll see what it looks like uh, when it's fully rendered. Okay, so I've had a chance to let that run through a 250 frame render, and it still runs a little bit slowly, but you can see it goes down, okay, and the wind does have an opportunity now to push the flag back out again, and you can see the flag also collided with the flagpole. All right, so uh, you can play with those settings to get the kind of effect that you want for your flag. Um, you know, by increasing your strength and playing with uh, the different types of uh, you know, cloth uh, presets over here to make it look the way you want. But uh, basically the extent of this video is simply uh, adding a force field, which is wind, and setting collision on the flagpole. In the next uh, tutorial, we'll set up the environment to make it look a little bit more, uh, a little bit uh, nicer, and, uh, and we'll render it out.